Hi everybody, welcome back. Now this week we're going to focus on security. Uh, it's an important subject, it's a topic I'm often asked questions about, what sort of products I would recommend, what sort of things we use, what sort of things you'd find around the caravan, how to use them, etc, etc. It's such an important topic that I contacted Maypole a few weeks ago. Now, if you're not aware who Maypole are, they make a lot of security items, they make a lot of products for the caravan, trailer and motorhome industry. So I contacted them and I asked them, could you send me through a selection of products which you would indicatively see installed on a caravan? And sure as eggs is eggs, they've sent through three products for me to share with you today. And I'm gonna show you how to use them, some hints and tips, and also some questions which I'm asked a lot regarding the specific product. So let's get on with it and let's start off down at the hitch of the caravan. So the product we're going to be using today is the Stronghold Hitch Lock for Alco Hitches. Now this one is suitable for Alco Hitches of AK130, 160, 1300, AKS2004 and this one which is an AKS3004. Now we've got a slightly older version of the hitch which has got the red handle. If you've got a more modern caravan with a black handle, well this one will work fine just as well. So let's have a look to see what you get inside the kit. Right, so this is the product. It comes in three parts. We've got the main shroud piece here, which goes over our hitch handle. We've got a dummy tow ball. And we've also got a locking bolt here as well. And fitting it on is dead easy. So let's go and do that now. Of course, the only thing I didn't show you is the keys that you get as well in the kit. The first step is dead easy, is install your dummy tow ball into your hitch. The second key point is to install the shroud over the hitch handle and this just operates like so. It will be a bit tight and a bit snug but that goes over your hitch handle like so. And the third step is to just take your locking barrel, install it like so and that's now locked. There we go. Hitch is now secure. A couple of questions though that I'm asked quite a lot is, are you allowed to keep the hitch on whilst you are towing? Well, technically speaking, there is no law against you keeping a hitch lock on whilst you're connected to the car and towing down the road. However, the emergency services take a very dim view to a hitch lock being connected to a towing vehicle. If the vehicle needs to be disconnected, if your caravan needs to be taken off of the back of the car for any reason in an emergency situation, that hitch lock will hinder that process. So the idea is if you are in motion, don't have the hitch lock on. If you're parked up, for example, if you're at services, by all means, reconnect the hitch lock back onto it. So as previously mentioned, this hitch lock is for the Alco hitch, but there are also versions available for Avon ride trailer hitches. And there's also a version available for Winterhof hitch heads as well. So that's the hitch now secure. Let's move further on down the caravan and let's look at the wheels. So the product we're going to look at today is the Stronghold Protector for Caravan Alloy Wheels. Now if you only have steel wheels on your caravan, don't worry, there is another version which fits specifically for steel wheels. If you've got solid wheels, such as a dish type, then don't worry, there is a yet another version available which will fit your wheels as well. Okay, so a couple of points to notice before we install this onto the caravan. If you have an Alco wheel secure, you know, the red thing that fits on your alloy wheel and bolts through into your chassis, it's a complete pain in the backside to line up every time you need to go away, that thing. You need to continue using it. This is not a replacement for that product. That is a chassis to wheel lock. It physically locks the wheel to the chassis. This is just a wheel lock. This would be an extra layer of protection on your caravan. So with that said, it's time to install it onto the caravan. And the very first thing we need to do is we need to remove a wheel bolt, this one here. This one's come from our caravan and we need to replace it with this one. Now I've already done this work. I've already got one of these installed on the caravan. And I did that by jacking the caravan up, just taking some weight off of the wheel, releasing the wheel bolt, taking it out and replacing it with one of these. So that said, let's get on and install it. So before we install it on the caravan, I thought I'd just show you quickly how the process actually works. We've got our receiver here. And what we're going to do is we're going to pull this bar, which you've noticed has got three notches in it here. This bar goes through like so, and those notches line up with the receiver there. 
This goes onto the wheel, onto our wheel nuts that we've just put on. This goes in here like so. It's tightened up like this, and then the locking plate just goes on like so and locks the whole thing in situ. Then as a final security, there is a dust cover that goes on afterwards to just to protect the whole thing. So that's the process. Let's go and put it on the caravan. Okay, so as I said, the process is we've already put our bolt on here. This will go on here like so. And what we need to do, we need to make sure that this goes in the right way round, like so. We're gonna fit our grub screw into the middle there using the Allen key. Okay, that's nice and tight on there. Just adjust the bar here so it doesn't uh, foul up here. Put our security bolt in place. Attach the dust cover and that's it, fitted. So that's the wheel clamp now installed. Just a couple of points you need to be aware of. When you replace the nut, make sure you torque it up to the correct specification as per your handbook. And also when you're replacing the nut, just do a visual check against your existing wheel nuts to make sure that they look physically the same. So let's move further up the caravan and let's go pay attention to our corner steadies. We're going to fit a leg lock to our rear corner steady and it couldn't be simpler. Let's have a look to see what you get in the kit. Working from right to left, we've got the main barrel which fits onto your corner steady. We've got the locking mechanism which fits over that barrel. Next we've got the hex bar which is used when adjusting the corner steady and an allen key to fit on the barrel onto the corner steady itself. The key is obviously at the top there, so let's crack on and install it onto the caravan. Okay, so the installation is dead simple. We're going to install the, uh, the locking piece on first, and this needs to go on Allen key first. And there we go, that's in there like so. I'm just going to nip it up using the Allen keys. In fact, what I'm going to do is just make it back a bit more so I can actually get to the Allen key itself. That's one half. Okay. Right, that's now on. So then all we've got to do now is install that piece there. Lock it. And there we go. We now physically cannot get our corner steady winder onto this corner steady. To obviously unwind it, we need to unlock it. And then using that extra piece that we were supplied, that goes in there. And our corner steady fits on there as per normal. I think you'll agree, and that's not coming off either way anyway. Good, another device fitted. I've got a bit of a bead of sweat on people, I won't lie to you, it's a very hot day, hence the reason I've come indoors where I can just uh, be a little bit cooler and not squint at the camera so much. So that's all the devices fitted onto the caravan. Now, just a couple of bits I want to just clear up with you. For every device that we have, we've got obviously a set of keys, and we've also got unique attachments and bolts that uh, we need to keep for each product, including the Alco Wheel Secure. So what I tend to do is I keep all of those bits in a pot and I keep those in the caravan because I need to obviously get hold of them to remove them off of the chassis or the, the back of the caravan. I don't keep the keys with the caravan, obviously, that would be ridiculous. The keys I keep on the car keyring, the caravan keyring, and also keep a set at home. With all the Maypole kit, you get three keys, and you also get a number as well, in case you lose any of them and you need to get replacements. So I keep all of that separate, uh, just the attachments to re physically remove the devices once the locking mechanism has been removed. I keep that in the caravan so it's easy to remove. So that's a good tip for you there. Now another thing to remember is these products will not stop your caravan being stolen. 
there, there is nothing in this world can stop it. What it will do is it will cause an obstruction. It will prevent somebody from making an immediate getaway with your home from home. It will slow them down. It will cause them aggravation. Give enough time for the alarm to be raised, hopefully. And let's face it, if you see a caravan trundling down the road with half a hitch lock attached, uh, half a, a wheel bolt hanging off of it and uh, you know it looking a little bit odd plus a few other things that we have installed on a caravan which would make it very obvious that this has been a stolen caravan you know it's going to raise suspicion and hopefully it can get recovered quickly so i just want to finish off by saying a huge thank you to maypole who agreed to send down these three products to me today uh, allowed me to share with you what my thoughts were on the products we've been using maypole for many many years on our caravan hence the reason why i was so familiar with them and i wanted to share them with you anyway uh, when we first bought the caravan we picked up a lot of maypole security equipment we've been using it for a long time and we've never had a problem with it so i thought i'd share that with you today but a final thank you to maypole who sent it all down to me they're a british company they're based in birmingham very contactable and their products are very available throughout dealers ships accessories and online now these products are available down below if you want them go and click on them there's affiliated links there that gives us a little bit of support so go and have a look at them online and uh, yeah that's it from me today i hope that's been useful for you until the next time thanks for watching see you soon i'm off to cool down somewhere Whew, burning it's hot